Hello guys, in this video I want to do a, a benchmark test comparison between the iPad Air that just released today, November 1st, versus the Galaxy Note 3. Now, 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 wait. Before you guys start crying and saying that I should, shouldn't compare a tablet versus a smartphone, the only reason I'm doing it is because I don't have another smartphone, another tablet. Um, and the only device I have it powerful enough to compare it to is the Galaxy Note 3. So I hope you guys don't get offended there. Uh, first of all, I already ran a test and like you see right here, uh, the Galaxy Note 3 uh, came came up with the score at, using the 3D Mark test, benchmark test, 18,492. Uh, while the iPad Air came came back with 14,926. Now that's a pretty nice advantage that the Galaxy Note 3 has over the iPad. But let's go ahead and do another test here so you guys can see. So, okay, since both devices are very powerful for this test, we have to do the Ice Storm Unlimited. Uh, because the other two, they were they would just not score. So let's go ahead and run both of them. Now also keep in mind that the Galaxy Note 3 um, has a Snapdragon 800 um, clocked at 2.3 gigahertz if I'm not mistaken. And it also has a three gigabytes of RAM. So um, that gives it a little bit more juice too. And it also has the Adreno 330 GPU. Um, over here we got um, the new um, A7 chip. 64-bit chip, which is the first time ever um, this kind of chip uh, comes out to a tablet or any mobile device whatsoever. 64-bit, uh, but um, I've heard that Samsung is already is already working for their next devices will have actually 64-bit. Also, this one already finished. So, like you can see right here, both finished. So, I turned it off. Here we got 14,989. Basically almost the same score as before versus 18,771. So like you see right there, the, uh, the Galaxy Note 3 still beats the iPad Air when it comes to the 3D Mark test. So now let's go ahead and do a Geekbench test. Okay, so here both devices will be running the Geekbench 3 benchmark. So let's go ahead and set it up. Okay, that was pretty fast over here. Uh, so right here we got 1,476 for single score score. And oh, and for, for multi-core score, we got 2,690. Okay, so we're done here. Over here in the Geekbench, we got 941 single core score. And for multi-core score, we got 2,990. So once again, when it comes to multis, multi core, then the Galaxy Note 3 beats the iPad Air. But when it comes to single core, uh, the iPad Air beats the Galaxy Note 3 by a very, very large margin. And I've done this test already twice. So on my first hands-on video, 
and unboxing of the uh, iPad Air. I actually do a test where I compare them both again. So now let's go ahead to do now a Wi-Fi speed test. And the reason I'm doing this test is because um, uh, the new iPad Air has the new uh, Wi-Fi chip, which is called the MIMO chip or MIMO chip. And it's supposed to have a couple antennas in, inside the iPad, multiple antennas, which are going to give it an advantage, should give it an advantage over the Galaxy Note 3. Uh, like you see right here, I already did a test before and my download speed was 31.14 and my upload is 5.74. Um, that's pretty impressive. Um, over here, I did run the test at the same time with this over here and it gave me download it gave me 9.19 download and 587 upload so now let's go ahead and do this one first i don't want to do both at the same time because i don't want them to be using the the bandwidth okay so look at that that scored was 28.49 download the ping was 30 and the upload was 585 uh, now the other reason I'm using a different app for, for both of them is because I can't find this app over here and I can't find this app on iOS uh, which is crazy I honestly I thought that this app would be in iOS I, I don't get it why it's not so let's go ahead and do this one over here. This is a very popular um, speed test for wireless, uh, and I don't get it. I don't know. I don't. I don't know why it's not in iOS. So like you see right there, the ping already scored 50. Over here on the iPad scored me um, 30. Download speed, we got 13.10 megabits per second which is which that means the iPad doubles it with 28 it more than doubles the Galaxy Next Note 3 and the upload speed was actually a lot faster here 619 and 585 so that's not bad so like like you see right here if both apps are good keep in mind this is not a scientific test, but um, some apps behave different than others. But if these two apps are pretty much correct, this the chip that the iPad Air has, the MIMO chip, actually does make a difference. And they're both running on my same network, and I have the same speed in my home. So like you saw right there, you ran one and then the other so guys um that's it hope you guys like the video till next time